transportation and communication, especially when the internet came. The internet wasn't here at first. For the first decades of personal computing, you bought a product, you totally owned it, and it was yours. And you could use it to get more work done than before. But ever since the internet and then social web, it became, everybody wants to start a company, the business model is, we're gonna, you're gonna have to subscribe to us, so you pay us, and you go through our facility on the cloud. That's the internet. So it's almost like pushing a button to open your door, but it has to send a signal out to the cloud, and then that company running the service sends the signal back that opens your door. So they basically own a lot more of you. You owned your own products in the first half, and now you don't own it as much, but um, the technology over time just keeps changing and advancing and advancing. Exponential. For a long time, it was driven by Moore's Law. The chips that make every digital thing in the world, they run on transistors. Why is Silicon Valley called Silicon Valley? One of the inventors of the transistor, Nobel Prize and all that, um, came to move to Mountain View, California and started making transistors. Then chips came along. They could put six transistors on a chip and then 20 and 100. And it grew exponentially over time. Now you buy an iPhone with 60 billion transistors on a chip.